Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the 9th to the 13th of July 2023. I hope you're well. Thank you for your support and your thumbs up. I hope you will do that today as well, once you've seen the um, reading. And I hope you're well. You come in with the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups means celebrations. Perhaps there could be a reunion between family and friends as well. If you're not celebrating or throwing a party, you could be invited. Also, you come in with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups represents Scorpio mainly, but don't forget Cancer or Pisces. You could either meet one of these people or this could be a time frame. So the, the time frame would be Cancer. Also, um, I believe that you could be very sensitive at the moment. Um, due to the influence that we've had uh, of the uh, first full moon after the solstice. The energy has shifted quite um, dramatically for all readings and I hold space for my angels. Just a little bit of uh, luck and this is my lucky charm that I carry with me. Also you could be seeking um, a reading or guidance from a spiritual person this can be a tarot reader, this could be a yoga teacher or a mediation, uh, not mediation, it can because it's come out. Uh, meditation I meant, My mediation could be as well, this could be a mother figure. But if you are looking for a mediator, then try to get somebody that is not emotionally attached, attached to your situation or to you or uh, your uh, other half. The person that you most probably it could be your partner but it could be also a mediation uh, between colleagues so please keep your emotions under control i know it's difficult but this is the warning try to be the mother figure trying to be uh, caring nurturing loving passionate stay calm that this queen the queen the status of queen means that she can keep her emotions under control so you might need to Keep your emotions under control within a situation. You might be the mediator or the arbitrator for someone else. Also, this could have to do with love since we've got St. Valentine card here. We also have the Page of Swords. You could be dealing with authorities. This could be um, a mediator or an arbitrator, a lawyer, an advocate, etc., etc. There will be news coming to you, so you could also be uh, signing official papers, if not dealing with municipalities or institutions. There could be news about a child. If you don't have children, this could come from somebody that's younger or even your next door neighbor's child. They could be bringing you news. The page, or, sorry, the page of swords means. Um, official news. This news could come through email, text message or um, telephone call as the page of swords represents Aquarius. Also we have the king of pentacles. So this could be business dealings or meetings that you could be receiving news from or an invite to a business meeting. Do your research before you sign on the dotted line and mind the small print. The King of Pentacles always does his research, whether it's on the web or whether it's from a mother figure or an official. Also, he will never invest emotionally or financially if it doesn't bring him a return. He wants to be as sure as he can be, 99.9% .9 sure that what he puts in, he will get out time and time again. Whether it's rom uh, investing romantically or monetarily. The King of Pentacles um, represents Taurus mainly, but don't forget Virgo or Capricorn. So it could be Cancer, September. That could be the time frame if it isn't this week. Also, he represents Taurus mainly and he's got the meters touch. That means that everything he touches, it will turn to gold. It will be a success. You might not have the money at the moment, 
but a, a, a rediment or some kind of big payment could be coming in if you've invested priorly. The Five of Pentacles means that you could be trying to balance um, your finances but also your emotions since we've got the Queen of Cups here and that's why I said take on the status of the Queen. In this case take on the status of the King. Then you've got your emotions totally under control because the, uh, the King of Pentacles doesn't let his heart rule his mind or his mind his heart. Again, five means you're halfway with most probably a project or finding out information, but it also means massive changes, a mega change is taking place, especially since we are have just come into the second half of the year. And after all, September is harvest time. So definitely be patient and keep on top of your project and nurture your seeds. Ask for help if you if you find yourself um, taking on too much or you don't know something, then seek professional advice either from a mother or a father figure, or a professional that works with money or uh, investments. Definitely, the Five of Pentacles also represents institutions or municipalities like banks. Um, mortgage brokers, uh, advocates, lawyers, notary publics. You might have to deal with uh, prenuptials or you might want to make a testament or you might be signing official documentation with regards selling or buying a house. But because we've got St. Valentine here, it could be marriage papers, prenuptials or the marriage certificate. Also, St. Valentine, don't lose your heart. Have control over your heart. I can't say this enough. Don't let your heart rule your mind or your mind your heart. Show compassion, love and kindness like the Queen of Cups to all, including you. St. Valentine will reward you with a love that's deep and true. Number 43 is 7. So you've got a lucky number. Luck is on your sides. The angels um, uh, are showing you that they are here with you. You've also got green. Green means money. Green means healing. Go outside into na nature and become one with the cosmos and the nature. Number 31 is 4. So 4 means stability and productivity. Blow away the old cobwebs and breathe in new life and do that outside. So you need more oxygen. I'm getting the feeling you need more oxygen. Also more water. Drink more water. Don't drink too much alcohol. Drink an other form of liquids. Tea, coffee, l uh, water. Uh, so celebrate and deliberate 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 or deliberate with family and friends and start throwing a party if you're not having a birthday or a wedding or anything like that just celebrate outside in nature by doing a picnic with friends or family or both and enjoy your week the angels are with you take care and have a beautiful week ahead and remember you're in my heart and my prayers. If you wish healing, then be open to receive and you shall. Believe and receive. Take care. Bye-bye.